Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me in another video and in this one I want to talk about something that I think makes Infinite Warfare very unfair. I really enjoy the game but there's one thing that really frustrates me more than anything else. You could argue what I'm going to talk about is part of online gaming in general but I see this far more in Infinite Warfare than in any other game. And this is the unfair death that you get when you encounter a player who clearly has a terrible laggy connection yet they kill you. This is extremely unfair and annoying, you've absolutely no chance and I would say that in situations like this, Infinite Warfare makes the person with a terrible connection win the gunfight 99 times out of 100. I really struggle to think of any time I've come out on top in such situations. It's so tiring and frustrating how the game handles this and later in the video I'll talk about a few options I think the developers could potentially add or things they could change to try and make this a lot better for everyone. Now I have encountered the issue so many times, the gameplay you're watching is only one example. Typically I don't keep any gameplays when I'm like one off a nuclear or five off, I'll only keep the actual nuclears. Maybe I should show those gameplays if you'd like to see them, if I get any more in the future let me know in the comment section. But I recently just experienced the one you're watching now, this was one of many frustrating games I was having. So after it's finished I decided to go back and save it. Actually when saving it I missed off the first kill that I got in the games, I never really intended keeping this but I thought it was a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. So keep your eyes peeled for what happens near the end of the video. Recently I put up a video when the game was playing up big time in terms of connections, this was something everyone was experiencing as far as I'm aware. Not only could you see players teleport over the map, there was just general bad connections, poor hit detection and so on. I'm pleased to say that recently things have got so much better in the last few days, now I'm seeing that games are generally fine, but what I'm finding is that in most games there's always one player with a really bad connection and the game always favours them, they win the gunfight. Now when I've got time to play Infinite Warfare I sometimes like to have a few games in my session and try and get a nuclear or a deatomizer strike. If everything's fair it's quite fun, it's a good test of skill. But yeah I still don't like trying too much as it is quite difficult and actually unfair at times due to a number of things. I mean you get killed so quickly, some of the weapons you get in supply drops are starting to look like they give people an advantage and I think rigs spoil the game and create some unbalance too. Then this video I'm focusing on the players with terrible connections and what they do to the game. Regarding nuclear, I actually have to question is it even worth the amount of concentration and focus to try and get one just for a player with a terrible connection to stop you getting it when you're maybe one, two, five, six kills off? It's fine getting beat by skill or by making a silly mistake but that's your own fault however there's just nothing you can do against these connection issues and I really feel it shows how unfair the game is. Now I've had five nuclears and I've got the videos for those up on my channel but still this issue really bugs me. It does stop me enjoying the game when alternatively if everyone in the lobby is a good connection the game is great. Issues of weapon balancing and rigs and so on that I mentioned aside. Nuclears aside I think this is still a frustrating issue for everyone unless you're say an extremely casual player that maybe only plays for an hour a week. I mean it must be frustrating just getting killed by someone who's lagging if you're one off a score streak and so on. I think you can spoil it for pretty much everyone. Now as I said I've had tons of games like the one you're watching now but I don't even save them. I would record an actual nuclear but if I'm one off or worse I don't actually bother saving the gameplay most of the time. But actually, now that the developers have added in combat record, let's have a look at what I mean. So on screen now is my medal record in Infinite Warfare. This has just recently been added in by the developers. If you have a look at the highlighted area, typically, or specifically, I want to look at the relentless and brutal medal. So I said I've got five nuclears, that's a 25 gun streak and you need to be using a gun with a nuclear perk. So my five brutal medals, those are my nuclears. You also see I got a juggernaut, an unstoppable well, I've got that up on my channel. But if we look at the relentless, you can see I've got 58. So that means 58 times I went on a 20 or higher gun streak. Now I didn't keep hard details of these, but I know roughly about eight of those were not from using a nuclear perk gun. So you could say that 50 times I went for a nuclear and out of those I only got five. So that leaves 45 
you could say fail attempts if you like at getting a nuclear. So out of those 45, I know a number of them have been from running out of time. That's actually cost me probably the main reason for failing it. If I've been playing like Team Deathmatch, I've run out of time. Other times I've just got beat fair and square, I got outgunned or I made a mistake or whatever. But of those 45, I would know without any hesitation, I would say we're talking 15 plus at least, where I've got beat, encountering a player with lag, they've been sort of moving erratically on the screen, and I've had absolutely no chance, and the game's awarded the victory to them. It is so frustrating. So, back in the actual game, I'd brought up the leaderboard to see what my total was, and if you look in the left and right, we've got a 2 bar and a 1 bar connection, and interestingly, the person that's going to kill me is not even in the game at this point. Now, whenever I see someone in a leaderboard and they don't have a 4 bar connection, it's generally a sign that the game's going to perform poorly for me, and I don't know if this is caused by the guy that kills me joining or whatever, but he must literally join at that point when I brought up the leaderboard, because I'm about to get killed. <laughs> Watch this carefully. We're on a 20 gun streak, everything was in control, and then look at that. Now, the kill cam will show it better, but I'm going to show this a few times. Look at the speed he came out, and then suddenly he was aiming and shooting me. He like did a mini teleport and because it's over such a small distance you have to watch quite closely to see it. I'm going to play it again a couple of times for your viewing pleasure and I'll go dry my tears as I think about it. But look at the speed because I look at the kill cam. Oh, he's jumped out. It's just a small example of lag but it's very clear lag. It comes out that window at superhuman speed as if he's like Superman. It's just crazy frustrating stuff. That's enough for me, I'm not going to watch it anymore. But back to this issue, what is going on? So there could be a number of reasons for this. One is a lack of players in Infinite Warfare and the game is matching people to hosts or servers far too far away just so they can play. I'm seeing it a lot in this game. A second possibility, they just have a terrible connection to the game, maybe because in their house all the bandwidth's being used up by people streaming or downloading or maybe their connection is just absolutely awful in general. I guess a third option, perhaps less likely, is that people are cheating and somehow causing lag. So how can the situation be improved? Well, you can't stop anyone buying the game and you can't stop playing them online. That just isn't fair. But couldn't the developers add something to the game code and if a player has a ping or connection worse than a specified level, Group all of that type of players together in different matches. It won't affect the people who've got different connections. And what I'm talking about here is people who genuinely have an awful connection due to their own internet setup. Another option, change the game code. So instead of letting these people always win the gunfights against someone with a decent connection, penalise them and make them lose the gunfight. At the moment the balance seems strongly in favour of those on poor connections which just isn't right. Or perhaps the developers just need to add more servers or improve the game's matchmaking, which I definitely think has issues. And I talked about that recently in the video I mentioned earlier, and I will link it in the description. Maybe the game is matching people with servers or hosts that are far too far away, and they could do something to improve this. So that's it for this video, talking about a very frustrating issue in Infinite Warfare. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts. Is this something you encounter a lot? Does it frustrate you or do you just accept it? But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.